Hi folks, new video for today. No, it's not the shirt I had on a couple of days back. I've got four of these. Uh, we're on sale in the big superstore last summer. I really liked them, The Walking Dead, as you might be able to see there. Uh, so I bring them home. I don't like sleeves like that, so I've cut, I always cut the sleeves and uh, I'm really chuffed. I'm hoping they come back in the, the shop this year. Uh, anybody wants to know what the shop is in the UK, it's called Asda. Um, if you don't see them in the shop, look online at Asda online because I know when they run out in the shop, they still have them in the store, the, the big uh, internet store, and you could buy them online and pick them up at your local as the, the day after or whatever. So I'm really hoping these come back um, this year. I'll have a few more uh, or something along that line. They'll be bloody daft if they don't. I reckon there's a real good seller. Anyway, apart from all that's not what the video is about. I bought a couple of bits today Let's have a look what we bought. One or two I bought um, from the shop. One or two charity shop. From the shop, first was this. Uh, they sell the hardback books. They're brand new. Pale, pawn. This one, I don't usually bother with books, but this one was uh, Darkness Becomes a... Um, bit evil so I thought I'd give it a go. I'm not a massive reader of books. Um, this is the second bit. Pay on for four cara beaners. No I'm not going rock climbing or anything. You can use them on your luggage to attach things and that whatever you like. What am I going to use them for? I've used a couple before. I make these sort of things and uh, these, if you look at that one, they, they hang really nice or the smaller ones hang nice on a, a neck collar. And you can hang something onto those. That's not in my bloody mouth. It's the remnants of the bloody chilli hot dog I ate. Um, so yeah, these are really good, and this uh, is sort of in line with the uh, the second part of the video how I adapt things for for the bits. <coughs> that was from a shop, charity shop. Bought this. Uh, if you see it properly, one side or the other, candlestick. If you listen, you might realise it doesn't particularly sound like crystals. And that's because they're plastic. Oh, plastic crystals. <laughs> and this bit isn't glass, it's plastic. Which is handy because it's a lot bloody harder to break. But I love it. 50 pence. So you can't argue at 50 pence. And leave it this colour which fits in pretty well or you can do a usual trick and paint it black or any bloody colour you want up to you but it was sitting there and 50 pence it's too bloody good to walk away from is it not so yeah bought that um, just thinking, did I get something else from that shop? I did, but I can't really remember what it was. But it's a charity shop. 50 pence. Second, oh no, before the second part, this. I bought this today. Um, I walk past this shop probably every flipping day. Never going, it's a, it's a really old type record shop um, 
the, the sort actually that you expect to be a bit of Aladdin's cave. <coughs> and uh, I suppose I always thought it would be a bit classical, which I don't mind. Um, some of the old stuff, which I probably wouldn't like and all that. So today I thought I'll go in and do some inquiry. So I went in, I'll put a picture up. I'll try and remember to put a picture up. You go in and the bits where the CDs, albums and that are, that, that's usually packed. But just inside, there's bloody loads of these plastic uh, containers with albums. And I just happened to say, any chance uh, you have goth albums, goth genre? Because maybe as a lot of you might know that lots of places you, you can't just go in and a gee goth um, you got any goth albums cds whatever yeah look under da -da, look under da -da, look under da -da, and then you look under burr, 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 and you might be looking to bloody find one but he said yeah that box there, and it actually said goth on it. <laughs> so I looked through it, and uh, yeah, they're not the modern reproductions, re recorded, repressed, and all that. They are actually old go back albums, and they're all pretty reasonable price. Uh, I've put a couple away for Monday. Um, I can't remember what one of them was now, but <laughs> one of them was uh, The Mission. Um, the album was £4 something. I know the album was the other one. That was £4 something. I don't look through the bloody box because I just don't. There were, you would have uh, just bloody, give me the box what you're paying with um is soul come here <laughs> so i said can you keep those two for me for monday um and i'll look through the box monday so i'm dreading it because i know there's bear house and uh, goodness knows what what's in there what i actually saw um i didn't go any further I said I'm not but I did buy this one why because I bloody wanted to <coughs> and this was uh, 10 pound it's uh, an original and do you know that you'll recognize what that is look at the bloody back you don't know which way it's up here so yeah Susie and the Banshees yeah. For ten pound, it's the original. Got the inner sleeve and the album inside that. Chuff, this bloody pig in mud. So I thought if we got to go home with one, this is the brother I'm going home with, and uh, I shall look through that lot on Monday. So if any of you is looking um, at this that lives in my own town, you ought to get your bloody backside uh, along there if you're looking for goth albums or anything else. But, freaking leave it till Tuesday after I've had a look. All right. So that, yeah, that was the last of the buying. The next bits I just want to <coughs> show you a few things of how I adapt uh, everyday bits into to maybe uh, what I'd call goffy uh, bits that make me happy that uh, I like I mean, hanging around which I I would have probably thrown some of the bits away um, but why you know when you can do something with them and these are pretty simple, that's why I picked some of these. Um, so, 
I'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about. The first one is this. It's if you look at it that way, it's I can't remember what was in it, um, but I think it's I think it's a medicine bottle. And if I if by the looks of it, I've probably painted the cat black, <coughs> stuck a label on it which says earthworms so in all intents and purpose earthworms so you can put what you like in it anything from A to B to Z you could be American um, the label really aged it with coffee so it looks really old and then here uh, if you go to a stationers or anywhere you can buy the old uh, luggage labels either white or sort of a, a very light brown whatever anyway buy yourself a pack of pens bring them home rip them rip them a bit the sort of, like if you have a look there, the torn and ripped about, and then I soak them and uh, colour them with again coffee. You can do it with tea bags. Coffee is nice, so that looks really aged. And then on there, actually, that's just a load of what what you might call piffle, um, which I just did on there of a felt pen but it looks a bit ancient and smelly not smelly spelly spell um so yeah ancient probably for earthworms uh, again put what you like in there um these um apart from the last one are all on the shelves in the bathroom actually um, and uh, they're not all the bottles I've got uh, and most have got different stuff in like lotion and bath stuff and all that sort of bloody rigmarole that's the first one um, <clears throat> this was a lovely little green bottle that I found uh, there was no stopper I could have put a cork in but um, I think that I think the liquid in there is water um, and this at the top is just the glass uh, bead off a, um, a necklace and it's actually glued on because it's never going to be used round the top there's a bit of old twine with a little tiny key on it and on the label which I did with uh, coffee again what's it say drink me drink me which looks bloody back to front on there so I'm hoping it's gonna look the right way around to you um, so yeah a little Alice bottle um, that she found drink me so there you go, use any little tiny bottle, even a smaller bottle, uh, make an old label, drink, just write drink me on it, a little key, because she's got to get through the door, <coughs> just a little novelty bottle. Next one, um, there's a little jar that I come across, which again, it would have been second hand and probably been about. 20 or 30 pence or something and in there it's full of uh, orange um, jelly beans jelly beans and again uh, an homemade sticker on the front uh, done with coffee to age it just rip round the edges so it looks like it's old and had it and what's it say gremlin seeds <laughs> so gremlin seeds 
jelly beans. Now if you want to try one, be it on your own head. And then round the bottom is just, it was a, a long strip of uh, lace, fluted, just cut a strip and glued it round the bottom. So there's your gremlin seeds. And the last bottle, <coughs> I come across this bottle and uh, I love the shape. Look at that shape. Um, it's got this little handle. Um, add this top on it. Um, again, I'm not sure if I painted that black. The little top to the bottle. Anyone that's in catering might recognise that. It's a, a chef's uh, jacket stud. Put it in, push it through and hold your jacket. So I was in catering so I had a few of these knocking around. On that there's a, a chain and the chain goes to the, the handle. In the middle of that chain there's a skull and crossbones and again made up a, a really old label uh, aged it with coffee and wrote on it which is urine there's a bottle of it but if we <coughs> excuse me if we take the top off have a smell. Ooh, there you go. Have a smell. Whiskey. <laughs> Scott's whiskey. So yeah, the witch's urine is Scott's whiskey. So if you can stomach that in a glass, you're okay. But it'll put people off nicking it. Um, to be honest, I put that in there. eight to ten years ago and don't think I've used any of it there was that there was that much and yeah just sits in there so that'd be a good bloody spellbinder wouldn't I <laughs> if I if I tried it now I'd probably just go in your mouth and go <coughs> last bit which I, I really like this this Again, this has got, I've got a theme going in it, it's uh, jelly beans. You can put what you like in here, I just happen to love the jelly beans. So you can put jelly beans in, you can put any sweets, candies, um, what they only like, really. And this is, this is how you make it. This is uh, just the jar. It, probably had jam in it or marmalade or it might have had pickles or whatever I don't know you wash it paint the cap black the the knob on top of the lid is uh, it's a little wood uh, cabinet knob that you you pull drawers out or put it on your kitchen doors um, glued it on, painted that black the same. On there, uh, black ribbon. Uh, these bits around just to fancy it up a bit. Um, you could buy in the pound shop, and they were they were on uh, like a strip, and you just pull them off the strip and stick them on there. The self sticky. Um, so that that just doctored that up a bit. Um, this black bit here, just to hide where the the jar bends a little bit, uh, that's a strip of uh, double-sided uh, tape, the thick stuff, um, and I just painted that black. And what it's on, if you look is a candlestick I don't think I painted this black I think it was a, a black wooden candlestick and where the jar would have been 
um, would have set a candle. So you get yourself a candlestick about that wide to fit a jar. Glue any jar you want onto it. Paint it whatever, whatever colour you want. Black, flipping red, gold, white, whatever is your thing. And the um, barbed wire going round it was a bit of a decor. Uh, that's uh, twine string that I bought. You twist it so it it goes like that. Uh, soak it in PVC glue that you've put a little bit of black in so it turns a a, a grey a barbed wire grey. Hang it up, let it dry, and you can cut it to sizes and I wrap some around there. The barbs are just, if I put that down, cut a piece of the um, twine, dip it in the, the same stuff, wrap it round about three times and hold it like that. And if you, if you hold it long enough it'll sort of set itself a little bit and then when it dries you've got the barbs on it as well so yeah this is these are good little novelty um, trinket jars or sweets whatever you want to put in them you can you can buy these candlesticks one two three size so you can have tall one, medium one, and a small one at the front as a set of three. Put them in the kitchen with things that you use in the kitchen. Put them on in the hall with something like these in. Have them, have them in your living room with whatever is going to go with your living room. But it's another little idea. Put it back there. So, yeah, I thought I'd do that. I thought I'd just show you how I get little bits that yeah, you'd throw into the bin, and uh, or like with the little jar you can buy for twenty p or something, and with a, a little bit of thought you can um, adapt them to whatever you want. So that's on the bottle theme, really. Um, another video I'll show you bits that I adapt uh, from bit, bits and bobs and uh, turn into something totally different to suit my purpose. So folks, there you go. Bits I bought, bits I make and something I am going to flip and have really good fun listening to because I've got one of them things that will make it go round. So folks, have fun, go and listen to your music, and have a look for your little record shops that are sitting in the middle of nowhere that nobody seems to know about. You have all the treasures. Have fun. <laughs>